we're giving you 10 days to get correctly licensed. Yeah, that's right. In this letter, TV licensing are nice enough to give us 10 days to buy our license. Let's take a look. Hi, it's me again. And as I've said before, TV licensing tend to send letters out in batches. And this is one that I haven't seen before. Let's take a look at the envelope for this one. It's very interesting, a bit different. So as you can see there, it's a bit different. It's got a cut out window with um, a little calendar and uh, the 17th circled. How strange. Now you guys out there were nice enough to send me a few of these that you've all received. And it's great, I love it when you send me copies of your letters. My contact details are below. If you get a letter, do send it over to me so I can take a look. But that's how I know that this one was going out in batches because loads of you sent it to me at the same time. And the dates were the same. Every one of them that I received had February the 17th on there. So that goes to show, first of all, it's a mass mailer and completely meaningless. And two, that you're definitely not gonna get a visit on the 17th. But let's take a look at this letter anyway. If you've received it and you don't know what to do, you're a bit scared, I'll break it down for you and I'll let you know what it's all about and why you don't need to worry. Let's take a look. We're giving you 10 days to get correctly licensed. Dear sir slash madam, there is no record of a TV license at this address. This means you are breaking the law if you are watching or recording live TV programs on any channel or downloading or watching BBC programs on iPlayer on any device. Well, isn't that nice of them? They've noticed that we don't have a TV license at this address and they're giving us 10 days in which to buy one. That's really nice of them, isn't it? Dear Sir Madam is the next bit up. And that just goes to show they've got no idea who you are. It's just a mass mailer. And of all the copies of this that you guys out there were kind enough to send me, every one of them said, Dear Sir Madam. The next line is the important one. There is no record of a TV license at this address. This means you're breaking the law if you're watching or recording live TV programs on any channel. And that is true. Without a TV license, you can't watch or record anything as it's being shown on any TV channel. It doesn't matter if it's a foreign channel or whatever. If you're in the UK, you do need a TV license to watch or record anything as it's being broadcasted. Right, let's take a look at the next bit. We will not visit you for 10 days, but you must get correctly licensed. We know how difficult it is to pay bills at the moment, and that's why we're giving you until 17th of February to get correctly licensed. Our investigation of your address has been put on hold, and we will not send an enforcement officer to your address during this time. Big bold letters, we will not visit you for 10 days. Now, I get contacted by hundreds of people daily, either through YouTube or through the website that I run, tvlicensestop.co.uk, and nobody has told me that they have had a visit recently. It looks like they're on hold and that's why so many letters are getting sent. They're just ramping up the letters because they can't do the visits. So don't worry about that part of the letter if you've got one of these. I'll tell you more about how to deal with the visits later on in the video once we get through the rest of this letter. We know how difficult it is to pay bills at the moment. Bit condescending and also we don't want to pay your fucking bill because we shouldn't have to pay your bill. That's why we're giving you until the 17th of February to get correctly licensed. Well, aren't you lovely people, hey? That is so nice of them, isn't it? They give us a, a little while to go and buy our license, that's nice. Our investigation of your address has been put on hold and we will not send an enforcement officer to your address during this time. You're not sending any enforcement officers out full stop. And our investigation of your address has been put on hold. But your investigation of our address hasn't got our name yet because you're still calling us dear sir madam and every single one of these letters is dated the 17th of february so how many visits were you planning for the 17th of february how many enforcement officers do you have it's not that many i think it's about 400 i think so that's not enough anyway let's crack on call us on 0300 blah 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 by the 17th of february one of our specialist advisors will help you check if you need a TV license. If you do, they'll help you find the best way for you to spread the cost. For example, our payment card or direct debit or apply for a free license if you're over 75 and receiving pension credit. If you think you don't need a license, you should tell us in the next 10 days so we can update our records. Now, to be fair, when you phone them, they are generally quite nice. I don't hear many complaints at all about the people on the phone. They seem to be all right people, the phone people, to be honest. But the bit that really sticks in me from this is, if you think you don't need a license, you should tell us in the next 10 days so we can update our records. You don't have to tell them. If you don't require a TV license, you don't have to tell them. You can just blank them. 
There's no law that says you have to tell them you don't need a license. I personally choose to tell them because you get less letters. I don't get many letters really myself, but I choose to tell them because I want them to have the numbers of how many people have opted out of having a TV license. That's how I think the movement gets the most power. But you don't have to tell them that. So why are they saying, if you think you don't need a license, you should tell us. We don't have to tell you. If you choose to, that's fine. We don't have to tell you. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And they think, I mean, they think they're being so nice to us, giving us till the 17th of February to buy our license. Who do you think you are, these people, you know? If you think you don't need a license, you should tell us. No, we may tell you if we choose to. We don't have to. Stop it. Stop it. You're misleading people. Right, so next up, what happens if you decide to do nothing? If you don't contact us by the 17th of February, we will start a full investigation of your address. Please turn over for more information. Signed by Scott Robson, who Scott Robson seems to sign all of the letters. His poor arm must be knackered from all those letters he has to sign every day. So what happens if you decide to do nothing? If you decide to do nothing, nothing will happen. You'll probably get a couple more letters. That will be it. They'll start a full investigation. They can't investigate anything. Now, their investigations are basically sending someone to your home to knock on your door and ask you if you are watching something you shouldn't be watching. And they are good at kind of twisting people's words and getting them to admit something they shouldn't be doing. So the rules are, if you happen to get a visit, and it's dead simple and it's not scary at all, don't be scared to open your door, but you don't have to open your door, you can just shout through your door, who are you? They say, I'm from TV license, and you just go put the kettle on, leave them out in the cold. But if you do open your door, say, who are you? And you say, hello, I'm from TV licensing. This is the most important bit. You just say, no, thank you. And you shut the door. They might ask you to sign something. Never, ever sign anything. Just be polite. Get the door shut as quick as possible. Do not talk to them anymore apart from to say, no, thanks, mate. Get that door shut. That's the only thing you have to do. And what can they investigate then? Nothing. Now, 99% of the convictions for not paying the TV license and the fines and all that come from these inspector visits. They twist people's words into getting them to admit something or they gain entry to the house and they either find evidence or they can be a bit clever with how they do it and scaring people into getting a fine or paying for the TV license, whatever. So the best way, the absolute best way to deal with one of the inspectors, if you get a visit, get the door shut. The best way to deal with these letters, bid them. So, Hopefully that set your mind at ease a little bit about the latest of the TV license letters. I've got loads of other videos on this on the channel, so take a look and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.